Hello and welcome to the another session on workflow and tips. In today's session, I'm going to discuss on how to extract the center cooling line from the 3D cooling CAD model. So workflow does allow you to import entire model as it is, but probably we need to work only around the core and cavity or core and cavity insert to an extent. But most critical part for an any cooling analysis is the modeling of the cooling channels. So if you have a CAD model, definitely you can extract the 3D CAD model of those cooling channels. Extraction of the center line from the 3D CAD model was introduced in version 2018.2. So these tips and workflow allow you to refresh and probably you want to use it in your existing workflow. So how this process is all about? You import the solid model, assign the properties as a 3D channel, and then with the help of the geometry tool, you can extract the cooling line center. And well, as it gets extracted, it does assigns the properties to those channels as well. To an extent, you need to do some modifications if those are not connected. But this process is quite fast. In a less than a minute, you get those center lines. We have also, you know, update the way the baffle and bubblers are modeled. From version 2018, Point two and below, we need to model baffle and bubbler, keeping a distance of like one mm between them. But with the improvement in the with the version, we can represent the same with the help of a single beam and assign them the properties of baffle or bubbler. So this reduces the modeling time and the assigning the properties or representing the baffle or bubbler that's needed for the cooling channel. Let's look at the demonstration how this workflow is all about. I'm in Fusion 360 and I, I imported an assembly that comprised of the part, cooling channels at three levels and a part insert uh, or a mold insert. I'm going to push this geometry. You can see that the geometry get pushed from Fusion 360 to mold flow inside Synergy. The first and foremost step is to off all the layers and only make the layers of cooling channel visible to us. Select all the cooling channels, right click and change the property types from default to channel 3D. And then we can go into the geometry tool, into the curve and center line and say apply. You can see over there, all of the cooling channels center line has been extracted and they are ready to mesh as an beam element. Well, the other process that would have been followed is directly getting started with the 3D channel as well. For these baffles, I'm going to change the default properties of from the channel to say baffle. You can see that I have not changed the rest of the properties. These gates directly assigned from the geometry. So this saves a lot of time in assigning the attributes and properties. The second most th thing is to get started with the meshing. And the curves, I'm going to change that number of elements for the baffle and bu bubbler from default three to six.
and as you can see that I have not you know created any duplicate curves or any offset for the baffles and bubblers and still the properties are getting assigned and they are ready to run for the simulation. Now you could come into the situation where you have an cooling channels that could be the complex but has an extended ends. So with the 2018.2 version and above you really don't have to worry about these extensions. The only thing that needs to be taken care at that you assign the outlet for those channels. For those channels who doesn't have the extension there is no need to assign the outlets. Let's see how does it works. For this part I'm going to change the properties as in mold insert 3D. I'm going to assign the boundary conditions cooling inlet for these channels and cooling outlet only for the above channel. For it to understand that the flow of water goes from here, from here and then comes out here. So it helps you to understand where the stagnation is happening. If you're really looking for the stagnation and the drop in or the rise in temperature because of the stagnation, I would recommend you to model the cooling channel as it is there in the mold. This pretty much completes the modeling of the cooling channel and you are ready to run the analysis. Once this is completed, all of the assembly should look like something similar to this. Okay, change the analysis type form for, for, from the fill to cool, mesh the required inserts and you are ready to go to start the analysis. I hope the today's session on cooling line, particularly center line extraction was useful and it add some of the extra capabilities or, and reduce that tedious work of modeling those center lines. Thank you for your time.